Well, it's not Christmas anymore. It's <laughs> it's that week between yeah. you know, holidays here. A uh, one woman in Inglewood though likes to keep the spirit going all year long. Yeah, how could you not with her elaborate display? Danny <laughs> New is here after meeting her and her husband with this um, special Christmas collection. Yeah, and they've been growing it for almost 50 years now. Wow. Yeah, and it's <laughs> been set up for a long time all year round. Get ready for this. The Christmas Village, everybody, set up entirely <laughs> in their basement. That's my new friend Corky there, who estimates that she has over 530 wow. houses down there. They were originally all in boxes, and then during the pandemic, Corky was like, you know what? I need that Christmas feeling. So she built mm -hmm. this very comprehensive village with 1800s London, 1920s New York, and the North Pole. There's Santa flying over everything, <laughs> oh bringing presents. Gosh. Look now, at that. Yes, right. Look, she's got skiers in there. She's had this up for 18 wow. straight months now for all of her friends and neighbors to come see. So when you look at all these, and you said you have over 500 houses here, yes. how do they make you feel? Oh, very happy. It's my happy place. People come down here and say, oh, I feel so happy down here. So will you come down here in July and be like, ah, Christmas? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm down here a lot. So a lot of my favorites are right here, like this little piece with a party going on the rooftop. This piece, it has a little village in the window. And I love the lamp shop. A lamp shop? Yeah. They made a house for lamp shops that yeah. people could buy. If you're going to have over oh, 500, God. eventually you'll get to a lamp shop, right? <laughs> you need some ideas. But look how even more magical it looks oh, in the always. dark. It's yeah. all glowing. They said that their grandkids will sleep down there sometimes oh, for that so magical fun. little yeah. North Pole yeah. feeling. Yeah. yeah, although one grandkid now has a job. <laughs> How much longer do you want this to all be up? Well, I told my granddaughter at the time who was 15 that it was going to be her responsibility to take it down. And she, her face just dropped. Sure. Well, who could take it down, right? You right. can't take it down. No, I, no wow. one's taking that down. Yeah. Yeah. She said actually her goal is to one day donate it to a museum so oh. they can put it all up. I she love very the, the detail. Collection. Is amazing. Uh, yes. So and fun. When we're walking through it, she's like going through like, oh wait, no, that person should be turned this <laughs> way. She knows exactly. Like, the yeah. Perfect she's an artist. Okay. Yeah. She's an, an architect. Whole story there. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> they'll do like Christmas in July parties, and then they'll raise money for like local fire departments to like charge oh admission gosh. for donations. Oh, I would pay to go see that. Absolutely. In July, yeah. right? Uh -huh. It would be a nice uh, respite from the warmth. Like nice, cool basement in the North Pole. So cool.